Du Quan's arrest has sent shockwaves through the crypto world, as this controversial figure has finally been caught. As the founder of Terraform Labs, Quan was once admired and respected, but his actions and the subsequent collapse of his company stablecoin, TerraUSD, have led to billions of dollars in losses and a significant impact on the entire crypto industry. Today, we'll dive into the story of Du Quan's rise and fall, as well as the implications of his arrest for the future of the crypto world. Stay tuned as we unravel this fascinating saga. Let's discuss the details of TerraUSD, the algorithmic stablecoin that was at the center of this scandal. TerraUSD, or UST, was designed to be as stable as the dollar, with its value pegged to the US currency. Investors were enticed by the high annualized rate of return, and millions of people bought into the Luna cryptocurrency and TerraUSD. The company claimed that UST was backed by cryptos, including 80,000 bitcoins. However, when the value of TerraUSD plummeted, billions of dollars disappeared in just a few days, and the entire crypto market suffered. The collapse of TerraUSD led to losses estimated at around $500 billion, affecting both large institutions and small investors. Up next, we'll delve into the manhunt for Du Quan and how he became a crypto outcast. Now, let's dive into the manhunt for Du Quan and his status as a crypto outcast. Before the crash, Du Quan was already a controversial figure in the crypto world, with tweets like, I don't argue with the poor, and mocking that 95% of cryptocurrency projects would fail. He was so despised that around 4,000 people banded together to find him. Rumors circulated that he was hiding in various countries, from Singapore to Serbia, but he was ultimately found in Montenegro. The downfall of Terraform Labs and its tokens was accelerated by Samuel Bankman Fried, the former boss of FTX. In the following section, We'll discuss how Du Quan was caught with fake documents from multiple countries and what this arrest means for the future of cryptocurrency. In this section, we'll discuss how Du Quan was caught with fake documents from multiple countries. When Montenegrin authorities arrested Du Quan, they discovered he was in possession of falsified Costa Rican documents intended for travel to Dubai. He also had fake Belgian official documents on him. Interpol's sole office confirmed his identity, and a criminal complaint was filed in Podgorica for falsifying documents. South Korea is also seeking to repatriate him for trial, as there is a multilateral extradition agreement between South Korea and Montenegro. Currently, Du Quan and his financial director are in custody, and his arrest highlights the authorities' determination to fight financial crimes in the crypto space. In this section, we'll explore the implications of Du Quan's arrest for French investors and the crypto industry as a whole. For those affected by the collapse of Terra Luna and Terra USD, Quan's arrest brings hope for understanding what really happened in May 2022. It also serves as a reminder of the determination of authorities to combat financial crimes in the cryptocurrency world. This case highlights the importance of regulation and oversight to protect investors and maintain the integrity of the crypto market. As the industry continues to grow and evolve, cases like this serve as cautionary tales, emphasizing the need for vigilance and transparency in all aspects of the cryptocurrency space.